Welcome to this tutorial. This is a tutorial to connect your Banggood 4 m one mode protocol with a serial connection to your Toranis. By this serial connection, you'll be able to access the multi protocol with the Toranis GUI. So you can select your uh, toys protocol or any protocol that you like from the Toranis menu. Okay, just make sure that module purchase after July 2016 because if you purchase the model before that the hardware layout will be slightly different and you need to do a different way to mod this okay first you need to do a hardware mod just simply connect the TX and TX pad and RX to RX pad to do the mod you need at least a basic soldering skill and I'm suggesting you to use a proper solder tools and also a proper solder tin lid at least just do it slowly and carefully because you don't want to cross connected the pad good news this is the only hardware mod that you need to do nothing more after you are successfully connected both the RX to RX and TX to TX pad then you are done with the hardware mode we will proceed to the next step and here's the result of my soldering mode it's not really a nice result but at least the TX and the RX pad both of them is connected perfectly it's enough just a little soldering tin it's enough okay and after that i'm using the double sided tape just put it a small double sided tape before you attach it into the taranis model by the purpose of the tape it will help you to hold the module firmly inside the module bay After that, we need to attach the module inside the module bay. As my previous tutorial, you just need it. You just need to do it slowly and gently because we don't want to uh, bend the tarnish spin. And after that, just make sure the dial pointed to zero because it need to be on the zero position in order to uh, connect the model with a serial connection into the Taranis if, if you turn on your Taranis and the LED still turn off don't be afraid because you need to select external protocol in, in your Taranis menu first after this you need to update your Taranis firmware with the OpenTX with multi protocol support custom firmware so just boot it into the Taranis bootloader before you connect your talent is into your PC. I'm using a Windows PC here. Just hold your uh, trim slider, the OS slider to the right, and the roll slider to the left. And turn on your talent. It will enter the firmware bootloader mode. And after that, you you just have to connect your USB, and then you can see uh, the talent menu will change into the USB connected. After that, you need to download the open text companion i already downloaded it just open it i'm using the open text 2.1 open text companion 2.1 and okay you need to download the custom firmware first the open text uh, custom firmware with a multi protocol mode okay and then I'm suggesting that you back up your tarnish setting first before you write your firmware and then just uh, open the write and read firmware menu and then select the, men the firmware that you already download and, yeah, and then just push write it should be done it's really easy though and 
read the setting again to make sure that you don't lose anything and you don't have to reload your settings okay as you can see I will try the custom firmware I will create new menu I'm using the TAER that's why throttle will be in the I, I mean IATR throttle in the channel 3 okay just name it the test I will turn off my internal radio module because uh, we want to use the multi protocol module which is in the external so internal RF should be off and the external RF okay here you are you will find the MUL, MULT or multi and then you are done you can select the protocol straight away uh, with your Tarnis GUI just select it from the Tarnis menu for this one and you will see the multi protocol LED will turn on because you already selected the external RF the multi protocol as an external RF then you're done